Alright, this is a 36 inch Hunter original in the brown brass finish. Um, and I've been looking for one of these fans for quite some time now because I had one in the bedroom of my old house. Um, and I really loved it a lot. It had a lot of character. Um, and the only problem was it was a rental house, so when we moved out, I couldn't take it with. And, um, you know, what sucked is, after we moved out, they sold the house. Um, but before they did, they replaced all the ceiling fans with, you know, crappy, like, Armitage or Little Tins, I can't remember, but something cheap like that. Um, so I probably could have gotten them I would have taken that fan. Anyway, I got this one. Um, that schoolhouse shade on there is not going to stay. I'll get a, a round globe for it. I just don't have one. They'll fit on the light kit that this fan came with at the moment. So I put that on. Um, and that globe is actually part of my white original, which is sitting right there on the shelf. Uh, but anyway, back to this. Um, it's in pretty good shape, you know. No scratches. Um, it's missing the canopy, as you can see. I do have one, though. Oh, excuse me. Um, right here. Let's see. But I don't have the screws for it. And, um, that's actually for the 52 inch counterpart of this fan, which I have, and I might rig up in my garage tomorrow or Monday, perhaps, to show to you guys. Um, but this fan, it's pretty nice. The issue that I discovered is that the fan switch does not work. Um, you know. I plugged it in and the fan came on. Um, probably on the low speed, I think. And um, pulling that does nothing. So I'll probably swap it out with this one on my white one. And that's cool because this one has a, a brass chain on it anyway. Which I think would look better on this. That one's missing a blade, so you know it's not going to get hung anytime soon. This one, however just might. Hmm. Anyway, let me set my camera down. Um, right here. And I'll plug the fan in. There we go. Now obviously, you know, it's not going to stay here on this setup. Um, I actually rigged this up for this Lasco fan that I have and I had hanging up there and I'll put it back up after this one's off um, you know, the, the Lasco hmm. um, it's light enough to stay up there this fan it probably isn't it's probably a bad idea of me to have it up there anyway but you know, it um It runs, you know, wobble free pretty much, which is good. You know, I got this off of Tom Driesen at the AFCA boards. I uh, was so happy when I saw it. Um, but yeah, it works really good, you know. It's pretty well lubricated. Like I said, see. Not a thing. But the light, the light works. Uh, alrighty then. Mm. Set this bag down. To 
unplug fan. And it'll turn off and you can see the spin down time. Fan, I believe, you know, it seems pretty well lubricated. Came off an AFCA member. So, you know, it's a fan collector. So I imagine he oiled it. But, um, yeah, really great. I love this fan a lot. I'm glad I got one. And like I said, I have the 52-inch counterpart to it. That one, the 52-inch one, is a bit newer, and it's reverse air. Um, it's in that box of goodies over there by the door. Got a couple of ceiling fans in there. Um, maybe I'll rig that up in the garage after my dad goes to bed. Or, um, on Monday. Because he's home tomorrow and he wouldn't like me doing it. But anyway, there you go.